Hi, it's Nana here. So today I'm going to talk to you about my the car the course that I'm currently on and talk more about how uh, this master is like and how is it different from kind of the undergraduate level. So the course that I'm currently on is the Oxford Master of Clinical and Therapeutic Neuroscience. And this is a course that is particularly focused, that is offered by the Department of Psychiatry. So it's pretty much focused on the uh, neurolo um, the neuroscience side of psychiatric and neurological disorders. And for those of you who are not that familiar, psychiatric disorders are disorders that are, are like depression, anxiety, so mood disorders, personality disorders, schizophrenia, post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's disorders like that are psychiatric disorders. Uh, neurological disorders, these are more the neurological side of things, which includes um, Alzheimer's disease, Huntington disease, Parkinson's disease, uh, multiple multiple sclerosis. So it really, this course really offers you a um, broad range, and you can pick your own uh, field that you want to specialize in and want to do. So. The way the course is structured, I personally feel it's really nice. So, Oxford, we have three terms. We have Michaelmas, Hillary, and Trinity term. And this course that I'm currently on, they have six modules. So, as you can see, they put two modules each term. Now, for the the name of these six modules, I have them written down on my notes. So, I'm just going to read it out to you guys. The first one is psychopathology, clinical features and molecular neuropathology of brain disorders. The second module is pharmacological, neurological and psychological treatments. And the third one is medicinal chemistry and computational modeling. The fourth module is experimental models. And the fifth one is bioassay bio and biomarkers. And the last one is clinical trials, mobile technology and digital health. So these are the six modules that we are learning in this course. The way the course is structured is that in in the in Michaelmas term, so in the first term, we studied the first two modules. And the first two modules gave us a really like like they gave us an understanding, the baseline understanding of what are the common diseases that we are going to be talking about in this course and what are some of the well-known treatment and disease pathology. And at the end of these two modules, so at the end of Michaelmas term, we are going to have an exam that is called the qualification exam. And it's a 100 multiple choice question paper that we are and that we're going to do to test our knowledge and we have to pass this exam in order to proceed to the rest of the course. So in Hillary term, which is the term that I just finished now, we did on the third module and the fourth module. And so starting from Hillary term, the last four module kind of more goes into specific ways of investigating disorder. For example, we talked about, we studied like computational modeling, we studied like medicinal chemistry, like a lot of drug discovery side of stuff. So we had uh, lectures from uh, Department of Pharmacology teaching us. And now we talk about experimental models and these may include like animal models of psychiatric disorders and neurological disorders. And, um, and some other models that we talked about. And the the task that we have for Hillary term and Trinity term or the assessment that we have for Hillary term, we have to write two, three thousand words essays. These are like short reviews of a topic of our choice. We have to come up with a topic ourselves, do the research and write a paper. And we have a three month lab rotation, which is a project that we do. Uh, I can talk to you guys about what project I did in another video, but so yeah, 
so we are doing a project which we have to wrote a 6,000 word dissertation but it basically it's like um, we have to write a report of what we have done and what we found and then in the last term we just repeat all that again so we have another three two three thousand word essay and we have another three months lab rotation to do yeah that's basically how this course is structured and about how this course differs from undergraduate personally i feel like coming from uh, an oxford undergraduate Oxford is challenging, man. Like, mm, they definitely expect a lot from you, and the difficulty or the hard bit of being a master's student is different. It's a different kind of tough than undergrad. So, in undergrad, it's like you have a lot of things to do, and you are expected to be juggling multiple things at the same time. Whereas in master, it's more like you have more freedom, you have significantly more time than undergrad you don't have to be running around like labs lectures tutorials all the time but in in postgraduate studies they require like the depth of understanding of a field for me it's much more greater than at an undergraduate level and things aren't that clear anymore like my supervisor told me that in undergraduate they simplify things for <laughs> they simplify everything and make everything looks like straightforward and look as what it is but however most of most of the time or kind of like the norm is we don't know what is happening for example take a random disorder um depression we still don't know a lot about it and um so yeah things are very very complicated the knowledge that you have to understand and the picture that you're trying to like draw in your brain to connect all the dots it's a lot more complicated than at an undergraduate level but I do really enjoy it. I like that we have a lot of freedom and we get to really go at our own pace. So let me know if you have any questions about this and I'm happy to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next video.